guys, Flick here from Sleek and it's lovely to be with you today. And today I am going to talk to you about all things bar. What bars to use, how to stand at them and how much pressure you need to apply. But we've been getting a lot of questions um, from you all about what kind of bars we use because I realise so many more of you are working out at home in this lockdown period. And Victoria and I and our Sleek team, we do have portable bars, bars that aren't permanently stuck to a wall. And I know a lot of you don't have that ability either. Um, so I want to talk to you about the Vitavide bar, which is what we use, how it goes up and how easy it is to dismantle and just stack away, how portable it is. And then I'm going to talk to you about how we should be standing, our placement at the bar, how high the bar should be and where how, your distance, your relative distance away from the bar and also how much weight you should be putting on it as well. So let's first of all, um, let's talk about how easy this is to have in your home. Um, we stock these on our site in our shop. You can go to sleeptechnique.com um, or look through our Sleep Valley Fitness app. I think I'm gonna put the link in the info below. Um, and you can see basically, it's the system of poles. I've already put the first side up so you don't have to watch me do two. But if you can imagine that wasn't on there, when the pieces lie down and it goes into the carry case, it's so easy to slip under a bed or into a cupboard. It really is light as well. Um, it's kind of like a really thin, light pair of skis. Much thinner and much lighter. Um, okay, so first one is done. And I'll show you how easy that was to do. So I've already put the brackets on. You can see the feet. I simply put the pole into the bracket, tighten it. I'm not tightening mine fully and I'll explain why in a minute. So there we go, that's one. And that's that, two sides. And then this is your actual bar. This one you have to be a little bit more firm with, but you can see I simply slide it down. Now I'm very familiar with how high I like my bar, so I can do that a little bit more quickly. But maybe you want to take a few goes to see how high you want your bar, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Now really make sure these are tight, you don't want the bar slipping. So really nice and tight and firm, which is easy to do. Just gently twist that bar around, and I'll bring this one with me. Same thing here, foot on there, slide it down. And again, you want to match it up with that bar over there, which of course when you've got time you can do, I won't bore you with it now. And again, making sure that both brackets are nice and tight, twist it round, then like I say, spend a little, little bit of time making sure that your bar is fully horizontal. And one of the reasons why I like to leave the feet so that they can move, if I'm thinking why she done that, is because when I'm teaching, or when I'm working out, sometimes I will be on an angle so that I have space in front of me and behind me. If I want a little bit more, I simply move that back to the back wall. I've got some um, leeway to just send that foot down. So again, it's just space saving before I go back to the bar. And I'm still on that same angle, but I just feel I've got more space in front and behind me. So if you don't need to do that, you've got plenty of space, you simply even off your legs and have your uh, bar either profile to your camera or your screen. Or of course, perhaps you're standing with two arms behind it. So let's talk about the alignment of the bar and how much weight to put on it. The bar is our friend, not our enemy. We don't clutch and throttle at it. It's there to support us, to get our technique perfect at the bar or as beautiful as we can so that it helps us when we get into the centre. So you want to think about a gentle slope from your shoulders to your elbows to the bar. Don't over curl your wrists. And don't drop your wrists. In terms of height of the bar, when you walk into a professional dance studio, you might see two or three different heights. So there is a little bit of leeway with where you put your bar that's comfortable for you. And like I say, you might see dancers switch from the top bar to the middle bar. Tends to be the lower bar is obviously for younger students that are learning, that haven't fully grown yet. And the higher bar obviously for tall, but tall dancers or even male dancers. Um, but finding your height is a good, Way to judge it is your shoulder, elbow to wrist. Now I'm going to come side on for you because it's easier to see that. Just a light touch onto the bar. So like I say, certainly not over curling your wrist and definitely don't tuck your thumbs under the bar. All five fingers just gently resting. And you want to feel like your elbows are gently tucked in towards your bottom rib and your waist. So that's a good height. When it comes to distance from the bar, if I turn side on, 
If the elbow is straight, then we're too far from the bar. And if, it's too, if you're too close to the bar, you'll feel your shoulder and your elbow are crunched. So you want that relaxed feeling, a space, a breadth distance between you and that support. And from there, you can carry on with all the work that you are doing. So if you choose, you have got the time or the energy to get a bar at this moment and you choose to stay with your chair, you can still try and apply some of those techniques as well to that. And if you're using an ironing board or a mantelpiece or a kitchen counter, that's also totally fine. Remember, no tension in the shoulders, relax them down and no tension of gripping in the wrists and the hands. So there you have it. It easily packs away. You've got your space back. You don't need to leave it up in your living room. I hope you enjoy using whatever it is that you're using as you take part in your sleep bar technique workouts. It's been lovely hearing from you during this time. Please keep asking us questions. Please keep getting in touch. And we'll see you over at sleepballetfitness.com very soon. Take care.